Hi, I'm professional organizer Amanda LeBlanc here today to talk to you about organizing your closet. I do have a long hang section here. It's in the back. It's not something that I wear a ton of on a daily basis, but I do want some of that in my closet. Um, I do swap out seasons, so I don't have summer and fall in the same closet, but um, it gives me room for some. Right now, I've swapped seasons and it's all summer because um, that's really what I'm looking forward to. And so this is all my long hang little summer dresses, great short sleeve and sleeveless tops. And then over on the other side of the closet are those transitional pieces that are kind of spring when it's chilly, could fall into, you know, that September, October timeframe when things start to cool down again. So I have all those transitional pieces in here. And as you can see behind, I've got a tower of shoe shelves um, and that's what I use it for. And those, again, so I, I do color categorize all of my shoes, but right in the center at eye level are gonna be those groups of shoes that I wear really 80% of the time. And that's the thing that I try and tell my clients, you can have 200 pair of shoes. Chances are you probably only wear about 40 of those in a year. You're not gonna wear as many of them as you think you do. So, but again, just placing them where they're most accessible to me and I can get to them and use them is gonna be a really good setup for making things not just easy to find, but also easy to place back. When you run in at the end of the day and you're tired and you don't wanna hang up that shirt or put those shoes away, making it accessible to you, making it easy is gonna be key to keeping it set up. For more tips on how to get organized, visit organizedliving.com.